What's up, YouTube? I know y'all can't see me, but I have a very special guest with me tonight. Let's see if I can get my phone hold on working on here. I'll give y'all a second to join in with us. Did you turn the oven off? Yeah, I turned it off. What's up, y'all? So I'm going to talk about entrepreneurship, how to make it work with a, as a couple. I got my wife here with me. I know y'all can't see us. Let me see if I turn this on. What the hell? No. All right, but anyway, it's dark outside. We chilling in the car, so bear with us. Just gonna give y'all a second for the people watching this after we go live. Just understand we chilling in the car. Shout out Miss Vanessa. Checking in, say hello. Hello to you. Hello. I got my wife Regina here with me. Shout out Martel Cuffy checking in. Hometown hero <laughs> checking <laughs> in. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about how to make it work as a couple in entrepreneurship. I finally got her here, y'all. Y'all been begging for more of Miss Regina Simmons, so oh we got it here. <laughs> Hit like if you like this video and you like the, the topic and all that. Shout out Magic Love Queens. Miss, Oh, hey, I see y'all Robert and LaShawn. Couple, okay, that's what we need. We hey. want, we're going to talk about how to make it work as a couple of entrepreneurship. So I'm going to get right into it. I see enough viewers. I don't need but seven. I see seven. That's all I need. I don't need too much. <laughs> but anyway, I'm laughing because I'm, I'm basically mocking the people that I be watching because they be acting like they need thousands and hundreds and all that. But anyway, um, shout out Ken Ellis always checking in. Portsmouth guy as well. I believe it's Portsmouth. I know you're somewhere right here in the Hampton Rose area. Uh, he said he sent me a message back. I'll get to you. I will get to you. Be patient with me. Understand this too because a lot of people send me messages. And y'all be thinking that because I'm posting that I'm on there, I I real I don't check social media that that much. Honestly, if all those Instagram messages, that's my guy Calvin Weaver. Shout out to Yak Yak Calvin Weaver. Um, he posts all my social media stuff, so that's not me. I'm typically not up there. I'm trying to build, but uh, I got you though. As soon as I get up there, I got you. Uh, shout out Belinda Coleman. Appreciate y'all checking in. Appreciate you checking in. All right, I'm gonna get into it though. So. I saw a question on Facebook. One of my guys, uh, another local guy, he's an entrepreneur as well. He asked a question and he was saying, can an entrepreneur make it work with a non-entrepreneur? And um, and can they cause this? Can they make it work? And so I had an answer on his, his thread. And, and I said, yes, most entrepreneurs say no, it can't work. As a matter of fact, the guy that posted it said he broke up with his girl. Because she was an entrepreneur and she didn't get it. Because there's a lot of sacrifice involved on his partner's part. You know what I mean? Like, they got to sacrifice a lot to deal with us. Us entrepreneurs are a lot yes. <laughs> to deal with it. You know what I mean? You guys are. <laughs> we, us entrepreneurs are a lot to deal with. But one thing I realized after reading that thread, too, is it's a lot for us to deal with being with a non-entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So... I figured, you know what? That's an excellent topic to speak on. So, first, I'll let I'll let I'll let you speak, Miss Regina. I'll let you go ahead and Why speak, my queen, and, and just say like, what do you think um, would help make it work with you being with a, 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 a mm. entrepreneur? Before I get into it, though, I want to say this. Shout out to Belinda Coleman. She said she followed my steps for the cleaning company. So, shout out to you. I appreciate you for taking that action. There's nothing to it. I literally be giving y'all everything you need. My tail said I'm all ears. <laughs> That's what's up. All right, go ahead. Tell you. So how you think? You want to go for it? No. <laughs> okay, but so what I told him on the, on the thread was basically, it's simple. It's very very simple. I think number one, it takes. It takes. You have to want to make it work. Number one. And then number two, it got to be loyalty. You have to want to make it work, and then you got to have loyalty because. What people don't realize, too, when it comes to love and all that shit, like, that's a choice. You know what I mean? It's a choice. You have to choose to be in love and all of that. So, I'm going to flip it. Let me see if I can help. Like, that's a choice to be in love with somebody. Here we go. I can't even flip it now. I already did this, this view, but we here. So, 
you got to choose that you want to be with that person, number one. And I, I'm trying to figure how I want to go with it because I don't want to go too far. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this, though. So if you were the person that does not understand at all, that's not going to roll with you and sacrifice and be willing to make it work with you, then maybe that's not the person. You know what I mean? Maybe that's not the person. But if you got somebody that's loyal, that's willing to work with you, that's willing to be understanding, that's willing to sacrifice, then maybe it is worth it. You know what I mean? But it really comes down to what do you want the most? You know what I mean? What you want the most? I like the content you have on here, bro. Really appreciate it. Shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you checking in. I don't even know what that is, but it, it looked like something great. <laughs> so Ooh. thank you. But anything you want to add to that? Um, so I think, um, on the, on the other hand, yeah, like you said, uh, sacrificing from both ends, uh, patience and the, the willing and effort of you, of knowing that, you know, both of you want it and want to try and want to work, work towards something great, you know, um, it's not a one handed or one person one-sided thing you know it's it's a it's a partnership you know it's like a team effort and i think um it requires a lot a lot of patience from both ends yeah um because one thing i said too i said uh like i'm thinking that a lot of the times i'm thinking that i'm the only one being patient a lot of the time that's how i started off in the beginning and then as I became more understanding, I'm thinking that she doing all the sacrificing because, like, she out this shit cleaning buildings. You know what I mean? Out this shit scrubbing toilets. Out this shit 2, 3 o'clock in the morning riding around me sacrificing her weekends to come grind and build this business with me. And it's like, then it's frustrating because it's like, okay, every time I come and do this new business, it's like, Sometimes she may not see the vision that I see as an entrepreneur, but I respect it now. Like I, I grew to respect it because, well, number one, I understand zodiac signs stuff like that too. Like yeah. Virgos, they like to be, uh, they like security. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Could you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. Like Virgos like security, you know what I mean? It's like, and not only Virgos, women in general, they like security. Traditionally, like you want to feel secure. So right. it's like when an entrepreneur comes and is like, we don't know if this shit gonna work or not. You know what I mean? So it's like that could be a lot to deal with. So that's when I started over sympathizing with that point of view, and I kind of forgot about the sacrifices that I was making as well. And so once I started to compromise and, and bring both into terms i started to realize that you know what it's a sacrifice on both ends and then it's like okay well why are we sacrificing well the sacrifice is because we both mutually want to make it work right you know what i mean it's like you both want to make it work and it's like you you can you can chalk it up to love and it's like yes we love each other and it's because to me in my opinion love is a choice i choose to love this person it's like after a while you get you get you you really realize like damn this person been with me this this like this person is committed to me this person wants me wants the best for me even though they might not always agree with me mm -hmm. or they might not always see what i see from the beginning like now we talk all the time about business ideas stuff like that when i'm talking about calculated clean and what about the bill or i talk about clean biz network and the group and right, all that stuff right. now we we really build on that now right but it's like at that point but but it's like before it was harder why because i had no results right you know what i mean and so it's like sometimes i had to go inside of myself and be like look i'll just show her better than i can tell her and i'm sure she had to go inside of herself and say right. look i'm gonna make sure i got me regardless because she wanted stability yeah. am i am i right you know yeah. what i mean like tell your story too don't don't let me you know what i mean <laughs> um, <laughs> take over. <laughs> and when i um again like with the effort thing i think um for those that aren't entrepreneurs speaking for myself um personally it was certain situations where it took i needed more than him just coming you know what I'm saying like telling me about new ideas and then we just run with it and, and go with that 
I needed like more like detail. I needed him to like break stuff down to me, write it down on paper, show me how you feel like it can work. Like I can't just like in the beginning, I just couldn't like just take his word and just run with everything. Yeah. Like I needed this. Like I needed to see it. And then you know, and I wanted him to know that you know I believe in you. Like you come like it, and a lot of the things that you did like see it came to play and yeah. it's like you wrote it down we followed through with it and you know we worked together at with certain things it's just a lot of effort and patience yeah and patience and then too i'm gonna tell you another thing too when sometimes and that's why i appreciate all the struggle i've been through you know what I mean? and all the struggle i might go through it might not be over we who knows right and i'm prepared for all of that but that's why i appreciate it because that held us together. The struggle definitely held us together. Like it was times where, when I'm building shit, like when I'm my, my first cleaning company would do coverall before I got with Jam Pro and became franchise owner of the year, all that shit. When I was a coverall, when I was saw, like she was going to school and going and working her job, and then I'm doing my business. And when I first first got y'all know when you first start the business with cleaning franchise in particular because they take so long to pay you. I ain't even see no money in the beginning. So she basically like holding down the main bills for real. You know what I mean? Working them jobs and stuff. And she's like trying to deal with this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> trying to explain to her family. You know, family go, what the hell is AJ doing? What is, yeah. what is, it was all this, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's a lot. But it's like, in order to make the shit work, you as the entrepreneur, talk to the entrepreneur. She can talk to anybody, anybody watching the channel entrepreneur anyway. I understand that. So, <laughs> but I just want to help you be able to see it from your partner's perspective if they're not an entrepreneur because the mistake that we can make sometimes as entrepreneurs is you will think that just because your 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 partner your mate your husband your wife whoever doesn't see it your way at that particular moment that they're not supporting you but they are it's just that they concerned because they don't know what the hell is going on right <laughs> you no know, they don't know what the fuck is going on so it's like just have the patience with if you really want to make it work if you know that person with you right they loyal they support you they really really got your best interests at heart remember i told y'all about uh the family not supporting y'all this is old stuff i've been teaching y'all but i hear a lot of people repeating this shit now but i've been telling y'all this back then when you see your family members don't support you don't get mad first of all business don't need no fucking supporters they need customers supporters are for non-profits handouts you don't want no fucking handout for your business you want supporters okay so don't worry about supporters okay so if you feel like your partner is not supporting your business they ain't your customer show them first show them something then they'll roll with you but it's like they're still rolling with you anyway they're rolling with you anyway but it's just like sometimes you got to show them because they can't see it that way we've been mm. <laughs> Nah, about to pre I'm fucking we talking anyway. I don't, like we've been indoctrinated so much where we was taught job, 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 save for retirement. So many like these these traditional ideals. And so your partner might have a completely different perspective about life, and then you come with all this radical shit. And they like, man, I mean, I I I hear you, I love you, and I want to believe you. But you tripping. You just walked off out of this job to do this. So what the fuck? You know the rent do. No, I mean, you know this, you know that. So it's like you got to, so, uh, uh, all right, bring it back because I'm going deep, 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 deep. So to bring it back a little bit, as long as there's a common goal to make that relationship work. Because one thing I realized, too, after listening to guys like Tyrese, because do you know Tyrese got, y'all don't even know, a lot of people don't know Tyrese guys got like, probably hundreds of videos out there on YouTube where he just speaking his truth about success and life and all that shit. And he was saying how he loved his family and all that and how you can get lonely. A lot of people out there talk about his lonely at the top and all mm -hmm. that. Sometimes you need somebody that's with you from back then to remind you or to be with you or to make sure that you're not lonely at the top. Because a lot of y'all going, if you don't listen to this advice, you will leave the person that really had your back from the beginning that really had your back from the beginning 
and go with a new person that came along just for the success. Mm-hmm. And all people that you that you meet as you rise up, obviously they're not opportunities. They're not all there for your success. Most of them will be. And the worst part about it is you can't tell the difference. Right. So if you are blessed enough and capable enough or lucky enough, however you want to put it, if you're lucky enough to get a person that's there with you that really fuck with you for you from the beginning that's going to ride with you, appreciate them. If they ain't left your entrepreneurial crazy ass yet, <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? maybe, just maybe, they might be the one. You know what I mean? They might be the one. You know what I mean? Like, we got to both understand and respect each other's sacrifice. Right. So that's how you make it work in entrepreneurship. That's that, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to read some comments in a minute. You got something? Um, for the people that aren't entrepreneurs, um, I will also say that, you know, it's not necessarily that we don't have, we're not driven, we're, we're not ambitious, we don't have goals. We have goals. We do. It's just that, you know, the entrepreneur is like, that is it's different a little bit. And it's like, y'all move a little bit different. That's it. And, you know. And that's another thing, too, like, hope does work. It's just like. You like that person that you with, if they're not an entrepreneur, understand that okay, well, do they got goals? Do they right. want better in life? Do they want for any, like, and it's like if that's the common goal, we both want better in life, right? You might have your way that you think work, I got my way that I think work. Okay, well, fine, do your way, I do my way, and then we'll see, you know what I mean? We'll see, right? Right, and then it's like, okay, now after a certain period of time, it's like, okay, whatever is working, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. She, a little, uh, what is that? A moth or something? Yeah, something. A flew in the car and she over here chipping. <laughs> so I'm trying to get it out of the car. <laughs> but, uh, all right, read some comments. What we got? O'Shea Duke Jackson. I did want to shout you out because I remember your name from uh, my other guy. What's my guy? Uh, Sub Zero. He, he, I heard, I remember him mentioning your name. So if you who I think, if, if that is the same guy, shout out to you. Um, I tell some believer you got me into it, man. For real though, I know a lot of people leave this message, and I've been trying to beg Miss Virginia to come on here. What? You know what I mean? <laughs> Just talk on a couple shit, cause there's a lot of couples. Matter of fact, shout out to uh, Antoine. It's, I think I no nah, that he ain't, he ain't up there. I thought I saw him, Antoine Stewart. Him and his wife are supposed to come on for an interview soon, and I want him to speak on it as well. Shout out to uh, Travis Benson. Benson. Travis Benson, my guy, down at Atlanta, him and his wife doing their thing. And they had he had to speak on this on his channel. Yeah. Uh, T. Jones said, good seeing you two moving in the same direction. You both have that mindset of growth. And that's it. The mindset of the growth. Yeah. If y'all both got that common thing and, and that that common goal, right. y'all figure out how to make it work. Shout out to Tamiko Malone. Said, what up, AJ? Shout out to Belinda Coleman. You guys are a power team. Thank you. Shout out to uh, Carmilla P. Shout out to Tamigo again. Shout out to Camilla. Camilla said, especially when you have a degree, you going to make them mad. <laughs> <laughs> right. And and, and so I'm going to help you out a little bit too, Camilla. Not only when you have a degree, because I know somebody personally in my life, but I won't call nobody out. But not only when you have a degree, but when you are a woman with a degree and then that man that you with don't got one. That's that, I'm telling you, that's something. We can't act like that ain't nothing. That's something. Because now that we entrepreneurs and we, we, we educated, we conscious and all that we know that okay maybe degree degrees may not be uh the end all be all like we were taught when we was kids mm. but it still means something and so even to me for a long 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 time it was a thing where it was like i felt like i was something you know beneath simply because i didn't have a degree right you know what i mean so it's like that's definitely a thing i'm with you uh what else uh as andrew lewis said growing up conversation straight knowledge for the younger people for the younger and older generations y'all need to make more of this classic i appreciate that man and for real that we do <laughs> okay i'm gonna try y'all we do <laughs> all right tamiko said this is this is beautiful brother and sister working together build a uh build a better better way and support each other this is life appreciate that Shout out to O'Shea. Yeah, that is you, bet. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. I might have to check out your channel, too. Uh, Tamiko, y'all go check out O'Shea Dude Jackson. Uh, cause, and I'm only saying that out of, out of what Sub-Zero said, because I, I, I respect him, and I assume that if he keeps shouting you out, then you must be somebody worth following. So I appreciate you. 
And then, like, I think I did check your channel before last time I checked it. If I'm not mistaken, you had more subscribers than me. So, <laughs> I appreciate you checking out a small guy like me out. Uh, shout out to AJ and his wife. You do the damn thing. Appreciate that. All right. Money over degree to me, too. Exactly. Exactly. And Because and, and, that's all it was about. All we just trying right. to do is empower and better ourselves. You know what I mean? We just trying to better ourselves and empower ourselves and just do better. So, that's the common denominator. <laughs> you know I'm laughing. Why? We ain't had to go through this shit in Florida. Oh, wow. Alarms and shit all in the background. Uh, <laughs> where, where they at though? Damn, they is right there. They going down the street. Oh, okay. Anyway, y'all see where I'm at. And uh, hopefully they are. Right. Anyway, tips on landing your first first client so far running Facebook ads and make some business cards. Don't do that. So I'm gonna tell you something. So look, shout out to Eddie checking in. I'm gonna give you some get I'm gonna give you some gold now. So this is something that I told my uh, Facebook group not too long ago, Clean Business Network not too long ago. Um don't run ads. Don't run no ads. Not brand new. If you not brand new, you got customers and you got the budget, do head and run them ads and you figure it out. But don't run ads. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you need to do things that you can measure direct. Like you can literally, really, really measure directly. Like for example, if you knock on 10 doors a day for five days a week and do the math and say, bam, I knocked on X doors a, a week, which is X amount of doors per month. And I got X amount of walkthroughs per month and I close on X amount of deals per month. That's number one. Or buy leads. Because, and, and I mean leads like, well, you can do any type of leads. I know, but in my particular case, like with my lead generation service, we set you directly up with walkthroughs. And so if you know you go on the X amount of walkthroughs, you close on X amount of accounts. So don't waste your time with, with paid ads, in my my opinion, with, uh, I'm going to roll this window up because I feel like that lady uh, AC unit is too loud. But don't waste your time with uh, paid ads, in my opinion, when you knew because you you it's hard it's very hard to measure when you finally do get that call exactly where that call came from and 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 the conversion rate so don't even spend no more money on ads either go door to door do cold call on the phone hire a cold caller or hire a lead generation service that's it in the very beginning and go watch my video um how to how to what i what i call it how to market a janitorial service or something like that but yeah if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, then if you can't find it, type that in a, um in, in YouTube, AJ Simmons, how to market the janitorial service. If you can't find the video I'm talking about, email me AJ at cleanbiznetwork.com. I'll send you the link. What else? Uh Belinda said I went to school for social work and don't want anything to do with it. It, <laughs> it was a setup. <laughs> I ain't come to bash your degrees today, no. but I understand. No, that's fact though. That's fact. It's just fact. Like when I when I realized, let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Not that it's some huge accomplishment, but when I got a job with Jam Pro as an operations manager, making whatever amount of year and making college money basically off of YouTube, I never applied for no fucking job. I don't want no goddamn job. I never wanted a job. I hate jobs. I, I have a, I, I definitely have an issue with authority. That's why I chose to be entrepreneur. But when they made the offer, it was like, all right, well, fuck it. And, I'm, and I can keep my business. And you're going to move me down there to Florida. You know what I mean? So I took it. But uh, what was the point? The point was um, the, the degree was bullshit. <laughs> right? When I got a white collar job off of YouTube, that's when I realized for a fact that degree was bullshit. But anyway. Um, Charles Walker County must she said the Charles Schwab account is a must. I'm just saying. Oh, did you close a deal on that? That's what's up if you did, cause we get a we we get a uh, a few appointments for Charles Schwab too, with the lead generation service. Tamiko said uh, get you a lot of business cards. But well, all these should come in fast. Get you a lot of business cards and go door to door. Facts. Business cards, flyers if you want to get some flyers too, and go door to door and make it happen. Don't waste your money on no ads yet. Uh, Magic Love Clean said, I feel you, Belinda, and I'm in law. I'm in law enforcement and feel the exact same way. I'm, I want out. That's fact. Me too. 
I'm telling you, when I had my government job, I started to realize, I mean, I made some decent money. I can live a middle class lifestyle, but it's like, okay, what can you leave to your kids? You know what I mean? What can you, what? All right, all right, all right. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, shout out to Eddie. said, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I'm trying to get all the uh, comments. Shout out to Rude Hogan, CBN member. Uh, Magic Glove said, AJ, we would love to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you. So go to, go to, uh, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know it this time. Go to CBN. No, no, no. I messed it up. I just said I won't get it and I fucked it up. Go to Calendly, cal Calendly.com slash CBN Network and you'll be able to schedule the appointment with me. It's free. You get a free 15 minutes. Ask me whatever you want to. It used to be on cleaningbusinessstarterkit.com, but I saw that the link was broken. I never updated it yet. But if nothing else, inbox me on Instagram at AJ Simmons Online, and I'll send you the link, and you can, uh, I, yeah, you can call me. We can set an appointment. On our walkthroughs in the same, and some door-to-door -door is very okay, 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 okay. Any tips on bids? Any tips on bids? Very simple. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm getting away away from the conversation <laughs> no, that we posted about. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Okay. But so tips on bids. All the bid is first of all, go to calculatedclean.com or download the calculated clean mobile app on your iPhone or Android device. <laughs> but tips on bids. All right. So if you bidding, all it is is how long does it take to do the damn job? That time times your hourly rate is what you charge per service. Then per service times how many times you got to go per month, and that's your monthly charge. That is it. That's it. Time times the dollar amount. Now, my calculator gives you how much time it'll take if you don't know. My calculator also can give you how much you should charge per hour. But if you don't know how much you charge per hour, I would just say this. Whatever you would pay somebody else to do it, charge double that at least. That's it. All right. What else? Uh, college is nothing but sales. They need to make money. Facts. Yeah. That, no, that's an absolute fact. That's business. Uh, I need. I did leads on Thumbtack, and they ripped me off over six hundred dollars. Oh wow. So one thing about the lead service companies, I don't speak bad about them because what I learned is even with my lead service company, I can't make everybody happy. Uh -huh. As 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 genuine as I try to keep it. As as a hundred as I think I am, as as direct as I think I am, some people just still ain't happy. So right. I ain't gonna bash Thumbtack. I don't bash Home Advisor. I don't bash nobody. You know what I mean? Because some people still just gonna automatically. You know what I mean? And not saying that that's what you're doing, Belinda. But I'm just saying like, so I ain't gonna say nothing about Thumbtack. I'm just gonna say try somebody else if you didn't like them. Because that's what I tell people who don't like my service. Try some. Try another one. Then I give you money back. Now, they probably won't give you your money back. I'll give you that money back. <laughs> Just try somebody else. But what you ain't going to be able to do is say, AJ stole my money. Uh, Ruth Hogan said, unless you're going in the medical field or a lawyer, it's pointless. Fact. No, that's fact. That's just fact. Or a teacher, because you got to have a degree to be a teacher. Uh, what else? Shout out to Nasty Academy, Miss Katrina. No, excuse me, Miss Johnson checking in. I told myself I'm going to stop. I'm going to start doing that because I noticed that on your channel you say Miss Johnson, so I got to say Miss Johnson. Uh, it's important to have the right partner when you're an entrepreneur because your partner can make or break you. This is very inspirational. You are truly powerful. That's fine. And thank you for getting us back on track. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, <Thank you. laughs> because for real, for real, let me just say this. When it comes to cleaning, so y'all remember y'all used to always preach about how good I clean and when I go in there, this, this, and that. Now, I won't lie, but the, a lot of times I forgot to admit that. We clean. No. <laughs> we clean our motherfucking ass off. Like, I always always say clean your ass off. No, we clean our ass yeah, off. Because we can go in any building and it's like, I ain't got to talk. We ain't got to say shit. Right. A lot so, of you long know, nights. You know what I mean? Long you get the trash, the vacuum. I got the white down and the got the, and the, uh, the mopping. You know what I mean? And going and knock it out. Detail, detail, detail. You know what I mean? If somebody missed something, the other person got it. Right. You know what I mean? And then when we have employees... They might not get it the way we gonna get it, but you know what I mean. That's why we got inspectors. You know what I mean. So anyway, I love helping out. You no, know, I love helping, but the loans do not add up. No, they definitely see. That's the thing too. If you even if you're gonna do college, the the, yeah. the loans is the real problem. Anyway, I, 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 
this I ain't gonna make the video all about that. Uh, how to spell? How to spell that? Calculated clean. So like, if you calculate, calculate it past tense and then clean. Hopefully that helps. Um, my franchise tried to offer me a eight thousand square foot five day doctor's office today for seventeen hundred. I laughed and walked out. I love the level up that you're going through, my brother. I love the level up. Trust me, I went. You y'all watch me go through it. It was embarrassing that I had to come on YouTube and basically pivot. Mm. I had to pivot, and it was a lot of people on my comments. Not a lot of people, but here and there, I would get some people on my comments back then that would tell me, "Brother, I just don't understand why you telling people to buy franchise." Well, and and to my defense, and that's exactly how I answered them back then. One thing about me, for the most part, I always said the same damn thing. It just said a little bit back then. I was a little bit more pro franchise, but for the most part, I never really been pro franchise. What I used to tell that person was, I never told nobody to get a franchise. My whole reason for starting a YouTube channel in in general was simply to tell people, look, I found a way that we can make it without a job. Try it. That was it. And then I started teaching people how to maneuver through the franchise because I started really realizing franchises had some shit with them. So this is how you can make it through that shit. And then I realized as I once I got the job with him, I said, you know what? Just fuck the franchise all together. I got a better way. Because one thing about me, I'm solution oriented. I'm not going to tell you a problem about something until I got the solution for it. I hated that. Because I came up under Umar and, 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 and uh, uh, what is, what's them documentaries to always watch? Yeah. Hidden Colors and, 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 and all the Pan African, yeah. all that type of stuff. And one thing I never liked was, when they would show us all the problems, and I'm not saying that they still do today. I don't know because I don't be keeping up with everything like I used to because I'm 100% invested in business. And when you're in business, you don't got time to keep up with everything. But one thing I never liked was people always got some problems to tell you about what somebody else doing, but then they never give you an actual solution to what the fuck was right. going on. Right. So it was like, I just always vowed that no matter what, if I'm going to say something about anything, I'm going to make sure I got a solution to And that's what Clean Biz Network is, a solution to the Clean the Franchise problem. But yeah, shout out to Root Hogan. <laughs> We're going to get our interview soon. Uh, Mr. Reed, shout out to you. Belinda, shout out to you. He said the magnet on the car. Yeah, we said the magnet on the truck. Mm -hmm. Yep. Actually, I got more uh, job applicants through the magnet on the truck than anything. I did get a, I, I remember one job I got at a corner store. You weren't with me that day, Monty. You remember we used to clean that bank in Norfolk? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was a corner store directly front, across from it. And when we were leaving the bank, the guy from the corner store across the street came in and was like, yeah. oh, do y'all, uh, I forget, I think it was like a carpet job. Yeah. And he asked me to do that. But anyway, so we got, we definitely, we got a job for that too. Uh, check it, what do you say, check it out, TV Worldwide. What's up, AJ? I purchased the lead from Clean Biz Network. I'm learning a lot from the grind, from you. Grind on stock. Care cleaning, cleaning. Hold on, let me shout you out properly. Care Cleaning Services LLC. Keep teaching. Shout out to you. All right. Uh, Belinda said I'm downloading it now. Definitely. And I'm going to tell you this. So the app is not free, just in case you didn't know. You might be new here. Calculated Cleaning is not free. It is $24.99 a month. It used to be free for a whole year when I created it. But uh, it's not free no more. But it is some free features on there. So you can do, uh, I just added, I just added. Nobody knows this. Worldwide announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Other than Clean Biz Network. Clean Biz Network know everything. Even before I even do anything, I tell Clean Biz Network. But um, I added an inspection feature up there. So that is free. You can access that through the bidding calculator. Um, what else is up there? A downloadable free proposal template. So we got proposal generators that you can submit and email directly through the app. But if you just want to download a proposal template, that's free. You can go up there and get that. There's a couple of other things up there, but I just added an inspection feature up there. So if you got contracts right now and you want to do an inspection, send it over to your cleaner. It's there. Go check it out. You can take pictures with it. You can leave notes. You can email it to the person, all that. You know what I mean? So go check that out. And I'm also working on a walkthrough feature as well. So check, watch out for that. That's going to be a complete game yeah. changer because I'm working on something crazy. Uh, have you worked any government contracts? And if so, what is the good and the bad? I haven't. I haven't because I actually signed up to do it and I get the emails all the time. He's still to this day. But I just don't want to go through the paperwork. 
I, I honestly didn't, but I will give you one this one tip and, and shout out to a couple of different people, Miss Nicole Mason, who was in the group. She'd be dropping some gems when it comes to that, but and Akia Booker. Akia Booker got some government contracts too in Queen Business Network. But uh one thing I learned is number one, um go to the they be having like um I don't even know what they call them, but it's like a meeting. If you check like the notes about the bid or whatever, or the RFP, they'll have like times where you can actually go physically look at them because they'll, they'll send you like blueprints and all these details and there's a lot of paperwork and you'd be like what the fuck so what you can do is you can go actually and physically look at these places so definitely go to those number one number two they will show you what other people will be and if you look at the attachments you can typically you can see them so look at those expect and go go back and look at ones that that already been one too that been closed out because they show you those on the websites and there was one more uh tip i want to give you on that um oh certification so if you can get a minority owned certification a woman owned cert any type of certification you can get when it comes to government contracts definitely do that too but no i never had one though um red peel gladiator shout out to you said i know many people who are independent and with the franchise they just buy two llc right but I, again so the reason why i don't say that i say <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I'm trying to. I gotta, y'all understand. YouTube is public, okay? That's 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 my answer to that. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand. So, when you do a non compete agreement and when you a single member LLC, if they really wanted to, they can do what they wanted to do, but. Yeah, you can get around some things if you wanted to. I'm with you. Uh, my, <laughs> my, <laughs> get myself together. My RB81 said I did do government contracts. It has its pros and cons. Right. I heard some people say state and federal. I think like one pays late sometime and all of that. But I don't know. Again, I'm speaking on, I can't speak on what I don't know. Uh, the paperwork is a lot. I hesitate on them kind of, yeah. I agree about being independent, but owning a franchise is almost like an internship. So listen. So listen. I see your point, Red Pill Gladiator, when you say that the franchise is like an internship for being independent. But listen. And Rude can help me out too, because he was franchise. He, he, he tell you. A lot of people tell you. Travis will tell you. He did 230000 He did like 230000 <laughs> his first year. Did way past what the fuck I was doing at the time. But uh, in one year. But you don't need that. You just don't. You don't need that internship. I done that already. So y'all ain't got to go through. I'm giving you every. I'm telling you now. I de I listen. I ain't gonna do that. I was about to do something. I ain't gonna do that. I'm about to tell you. If you email me, I give you my goddamn curriculum, just so you can see that that's not true. They don't tell you shit when it comes to going independent. The franchise don't tell you a motherfucking thing. The only reason I know is because I work for them. And then that's when I learned how to really, really bid and how to really sell and how to build the motherfuckers properly and how to all these other things that comes with being independent. Independent people struggle is completely different than a unit franchise struggle. I'm just telling you that now. It's 100% different. I thought I knew some shit back then. I didn't know until I started working for them and I did had to di deal directly with the customer. Fran unit franchise owners are so spoon fed. They have no idea what's going on. That's just a fact. Unless you have independent contracts yourself, you don't know anything that's going on as a unit franchise owner. And so in my course, which I'm this video only has shit to do with the course, but I just want to, I'm addressing what he just said. But in my course, I teach you those things. Like I am going to that, but I teach you those things like how to be independent in particular. Because I again, I'm just trying to create an alternative to being independent, and, and yeah, and to excuse me, to being uh with a franchise, and I understand that I went through being a franchise, and that was like my internship. But you understand, not only was I franchise owner for two different franchise companies for what a total of six years, three years with each. I also worked for a franchise company for two years as well. So that's eight years experience. And I done some independent work. And what I realized is you just don't need them. You waste you you wasting your time. 
you wasting your time. It's only one particular instance, two. Okay, two two instances why I would say it will make sense to franchise. One, if you just want supplemental income and you don't want to build a business, you just want some extra money, go on and get your franchise and go clean some toilets. Cool. If you really want to build a business, don't do that shit. That's number one. Number two, the only other way to get a franchise, the only time it makes sense to get a franchise is if Man, I might have forgot the other reason. That means it ain't no reason. Then. <laughs> but no, I forgot the other reason. The other, but the other reason too is like if you simply don't know anything, like you scared to talk to people, you scared to be a owner, you scared to say hi, <laughs> put a suit on. I mean, yeah, you put a whole suit on, just dress up, put the tie on. I mean, ask some questions. But anyway, all right, all right, all right. what else we got? Because I'm trying to make sure I get to everybody. Damn, I came. I never done a video this long in my life. It's 40 minutes. Have you ever signed a confidential agreement? Absolutely. Confidentiality agreement. Absolutely. Some contracts will definitely uh, make you sign, sign them, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, you should probably even make your subcontractors and employees sign them, too, because when they're in there cleaning, there's going to be some check stubs on the table. There's going to be some some bank statements on that table. There's going to be some, you know what I mean, all type of stuff. So you maybe you should get them to sign those, too. All right. Um... AJ, my first live video. Shout out to, to Mary and Morris. Uh, typically, my lives are not like this, so you getting a special treatment right now because <laughs> I'm just going in. Uh, what else? Tamiko Malone said, have you worked any banking institutions? If, if so, do they pay good? Yeah, hell yeah. So I have, and for full disclosure, it was through my franchise. All right? So I did have bank accounts. It was through my franchise. I actually just said the bank. You probably missed it. I was just talking about the bank we had. A couple. We had a few banks and credit unions. But um, they were the best. They're the absolute best. If you can ever get a bank account, that is the best. They pay great, and it's easy as hell. It's all usually all carpet. Yeah. You get out there in a second. You know what I mean? Those are the best. That's that's my opinion on those. Um, no need to do a franchise. You can do it all yourself. Only go franchise if you can't hold a simple conversation and close a deal. That's it. This is coming from a guy who was killing it with a franchise. All right. This is Rube Hogan and plenty of other people will tell you. I don't, I don't have to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have to do it. Tamiko Malone said, how do you scale to a very large building, say, 10-story or larger? So I talked about this, and we talked about this in um, the video with uh, Mark. What's his name? Mark uh, Anderson. Shout out Mark Anderson. that I did a video with him, and he had the account with uh, Microsoft and a bunch of different humongous contracts, right? Older white guy, go check out the interview I did with him. Go ahead. And, um, okay. And basically, I think his answer was perfect. He said, start off with the small ones. Like, how do you get the large account? Start off with the small ones. And I agree with that 100% because you got to start somewhere. Number one, you got to make sure that you qualify for it. You got to make sure that you you even confident enough to handle it. And then once you feel like you can get, you can handle it. Just go get it. The way that you get any contract is the same. Like, it's the same regardless. You simply find out who's in charge of hiring the cleaning company. Talk to that person. Schedule a walkthrough with that person. Go walk through the account. Prepare your proposal. That's it. Follow up. Hope you close the deal. That's it. The same way you get one contract is the same way you get all contracts. That is it. But... Obviously, once you go to the bigger scale, they need to be able to know, make sure that you're capable of handling it. So, how can you prove that you're capable of handling it? Can y'all help me with? Because I just realized that my thing sitting at the bottom of my, like my phone kind of resting on the car, and I hope it ain't muffling my um, microphone. But, but the same way that you get any contract is how you get all of them. You know what I mean? Like, just figure out who's in charge, and, and you work your way up. But they got to make sure that you can, you capable of handling it. That's all. All right. <clears throat> Red Pill said. Uh, I've been watching you for year for four years, and now I'm making about ten grand a month with a franchise. But I do see the benefits of being independent. Just trying to work my way out slowly. Absolutely, absolutely. And I get it. And then I'm gonna tell you another thing about that too. And that's why what I might do Friday. So I've been talking to my guy, got got Calvin Weaver. Shout out to him, my marketing manager. We've been talking about the about my next move. And I might do it, but we I ain't gonna say nothing about it right now. But I think that you would probably be the perfect person for what I'm about to do next. 
But, uh, because I get it. Because, number one, when you start to do outside of the franchise, it's like you basically starting all over again. And y'all don't understand. You talk about 10 grand a month. That ain't small shit. <laughs> I mean, that's not, that is a lot to deal with. Trust me, I know. And it's already a lot to deal with just being with a franchise. So it's like, To deal with that all over again, starting independent, like it is a lot. It's a lot. So you'll see. Just, just stay tuned. And when it comes to that, but now I'm with you 100 percent though. I'm with you 100 percent though. And 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 also too. All right, I ain't gonna speak on that too much more. I ain't gonna speak on too much. All right, Tamiko said, uh, "How can you get into banking contracts?" Same way I just said. Who's in charge? Get figure out who's in. I just put when I was in Jacksonville, I did this shit for fun because uh, so I went to my bank and I went to the uh, because I always deal with the uh, the branch manager as business. When you got a business account, typically you're going to deal with the branch manager, and so if you go in, and so I was asking her about who cleans it just to figure out. I was, I was just thinking about getting a contract just for fun, and she told me, Oh, dang, you just missed me, I just hired somebody for that. And so what they told me right there was, bam, that go your contract right there. Because a lot of times they got branch managers for each branch, but at least one of those five different branches, one of those motherfuckers that's in charge of each branch is the one that's the main one in charge. So I probably hit the one that's the main one in charge for that particular area. So just ask, just go to your branch manager and ask. Some of them, if they say, or oh, it's handled by corporate, go to the next, next local branch near you and figure it out. And and maybe put that the kid. No. And maybe oh they the kids trying to come. They can they can chill long they be quiet. No. <laughs> and maybe the um I forgot where I was going with that. And maybe the I think I was about to say it may be the the um the bank branch manager that you talk to might not be the one that's in charge. Uh oh that's what I was gonna tell you. So they might say Oh, corporate handles that? Okay, we'll go to the next one. Okay, because that person that you're talking to probably don't even know what corporate means. You know what I mean? Like, people just be saying stuff just to get rid of you. But it's all about who's in charge of hiring the cleaning company, get in touch with that person, try to get a walkthrough, sell the hell out of yourself, bid it properly with calculated clean. That's the best way I would recommend. And go from there. Will CBN ever become a franchise? So listen to this. Shout out to Keisha Puller, by the way. Long time CBN member. No, <laughs> no. Okay, so but I have considered licensing out CBN. So what I was thinking about doing, this is what I was thinking about doing, and this was about to kick off this year. Then I decided the next year, and then now I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna ever do it. But what I was going to do is I was going to license CBN. I was going to get contracts, subcontract. <laughs> don't laugh. I was going to subcontract those contracts to local people who want to just be independent solopreneurs and make good money because I could easily bid like, you know what I mean? Like whatever. And then pay somebody a lot of money to subcontract under me and just take my little 20% off the top. Um, uh, and I was going to, and so what I was going to do once I do it here locally here, then I was going to sell licenses for y'all to do it in y'all respective territories. And I just train y'all how to do it. But I don't know if I feel like doing it. I'm just going to be quite honest with you. I just don't know if I feel like doing it. So um, we'll see. But I'm definitely not going to franchise, but I might license. All right. So that's what that's that's my answer to that. Uh, because I don't like the franchise models. Too many regulations is, 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 is um, yeah, I don't want to do that. All right. Tamiko says, uh, is it best to hire employee or keep them as independent contractors? Also, with banks, do you need to get background checks? Definitely get background checks. Um, and then as far as uh, independent or employee. So first, let me speak on background check. I tried to breeze past that like I was okay with my answer, but I won't. So <laughs> when it comes to getting background checks, I didn't really care for them. But only because... I'm from where, like, my business ran where I'm from. I know character. I can judge character pretty well. I feel that I can confident in that. And I think that 
the background check system was created by corporate people who weren't capable of judging people by their character. I'm not corporate, and I'm pretty good at judging people by their character. Shit, I was in the streets. I know I can tell who really grown up and who ain't. I can tell who motives is what. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't really typically like background checks. However, when you're dealing with a bank, they might want to see background checks on the people that's cleaning that contract. So, in that particular case, yeah, you get a customer what they want. If they want to see background checks, you give them background checks. I had a couple of uh, accounts that wanted to see background checks. So, we gave them that. Like a mortgage company I had out there in Virginia Beach, they wanted to see it. I had another uh, contract out in Chesapeake. It was, no, nah, I ain't going to name the names. But, uh, what shit, I can say who I had. I had, um, what's the name of that one? Um, Veterans United Mortgage out of Virginia Beach. They wanted to see background checks. Then I had... Um, uh, what's the one in Virginia in Chesapeake? I forgot, but it was a government con. It actually was a government contract, but I didn't do it. It was through the franchise, so that's why I say what I when well, that's what I mean when I say I didn't have good my con contracts. I actually had two, but it was through the franchise, so I didn't have to deal with it. But anyway, um, uh, they wanted background checks as well. So yeah, if they want that, give them that. So that's my answer to that. But anyway, as far as employees on independent contracts, so which is better? Which is better is employees because you got 100% control over them. And then in a lot of states like California in particular, they cracking down on that a lot. Because they're seeing that people trying to use that contract, that 299 status, to get around the employment taxes. And so they're cracking down on that a lot. So if you can do it with employees, and do it with employees. But I always recommend people start off with this 299 contract in the beginning. Just because it's simpler, you don't have to worry about taking out taxes. Uh, you still get your feet wet. You still figuring stuff out. So keep it as simple as possible. Then as you grow, then maybe you can move up to the the the, uh, the W two employees. But it, which one is better? I like employees better because you got a hundred percent control of them. Uh, as a first time, uh, uh, what advice can you give? As a first time, what advice can you give? <laughs> Watch all my videos. Subscribe to the channel. Um, what advice can you give? Don't, if you haven't already, you might already did this, but don't, if you can, because I couldn't, but if you can, don't just quit your job from day one and go clean all the contracts yourself. Do your best to keep that job. Every time you get a contract, put a person in there, put a person in there, put a person in there. As you keep growing, put a person in there and make passive money for those contracts. And at some point you're going to make enough passive money to quit that job and you won't have to clean and you won't be a slave to your business. So work on your business, not in your business. That's my best advice. Uh, are you ever planning to go nationally? I'm international now <laughs> on the internet, right? But if I did do the licensing uh, thing I was talking about, absolutely I was going to go nationally. And so that was the point. I was going to um, do licenses. I had to turn around. I was going to do licenses so... Um, we can be international, like we can be national and international. At some point, I would like to move to Africa. Like once we get everything set up here and I got a couple of different hubs set up throughout the country, I'm going over to Africa and I'm gonna set it up there and then I'm gonna get some people in different countries in Africa. That's that's my dream, but we'll see what happens. I see we we'll see if I got the nerve to really do that. What else? Shout Ruby said, uh, what is a good accounting software for your books? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. See, that's the problem with y'all experienced CBN members that been in there for too long. Y'all got in CBN so early, it was still raw. So when you buy the starter kit course or the starter kit, when you get in the starter kit now, the course teaches you how to do all your bookkeeping. It walks you through. And what we use is waveapps.com. It's free. That's why I use Wave. I will use QuickBooks because that's really what I used to use with my cleaning company. But, uh, and y'all know now I use bench.co. They do all my books for me. But after I did QuickBooks, then I went to Wave Apps. And Wave Apps is 100% free. And I got tutorials on all of that inside the course. Uh, quiet as kept. I got it on YouTube too. But <laughs> just thought I'd throw it out there. I got to keep it all the way on it. But anyway, um, but waveapps.com is the best way to keep your books if you don't want to pay nobody. If you do, don't mind paying somebody $200 or 150 or somewhere around that area a month, just hire a bookkeeper and they'll do it for you. And um, my phone keeps falling. And, um, and do that.
And uh, I was gonna speak on something else, but I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm gonna keep rolling because I'm tired of talking, really, and I'm approaching the hour, so I'm gonna end it. But uh, I can speak more on that if you want me to in the group. Just tag me and let me know. Uh, what else? QuickBooks online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. QuickBooks, like I said, QuickBooks, I used to use that anyway, but only problem I had with QuickBooks other than over, over um, Wave Apps was QuickBooks calls and Wave Apps don't just to do your books. Uh, Marion Morris, but I did use QuickBooks to print checks though. Uh, Marion Morris said, what is your take in using temp labels leaving the gate? I don't like temp agencies, let me tell you why. And I get, only time I see using temp agencies making sense is because if you're doing like post instruction, because they got like all these uh, stringent requirements sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. And they want you to have like workman's comp and all of that, all these like extra coverages that you typically wouldn't have. And so you can have that through the temp agency. But I don't like them because my stra one of my strategies for retaining uh, employees and workers and all of that long term is because I pay a lot. I try to pay them as best as I can. I try to follow that Chick Fil A method where you pay them more and, and expect more from them because of that. And with the temp agency, they get their middleman. They taking some of the money, so it's like. And then you got to think about it. Temp agency. What the person that worked for the temp agency knows the temp agency. So they're looking at this as a temporary job. You see what I'm saying? You see the talent that you attract into yourself. No, you want somebody that's really fully committed to this. I understand that we ain't got no goddamn um, lifelong careers that we offer in here with cleaning toilets. But it is some people out there that would cherish this thing as much as you allow them to if you just treat them right, pay them as best as you can. You know what I mean? Like those types of things. Respect them, treat them like human beings, give them a little bit of freedom. So no, that's why I don't like 10 agencies because they cut into the money and the people really... Like, if you can pay them well, that'll definitely go a long way. Tamigo said, Nigeria is a good economy. I heard, I heard, I was thinking about going over there eventually if possible one day in the future. Yeah, I was looking at, I was looking at a lot of that. First, I was so uh, set on Namibia. Then Ghana kept jumping out of me because of the popular thing. And then um, I've been looking at South Africa. I've been looking at Kenya. There's a lot of them. And then it was a new one. Uh, bots, Botswana or something like that. And I was like, dang, I ain't even heard of that before. So, but yeah, anyway, we have 57 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up. Back, to, I don't know. Did we have anything <laughs> else to say on the original subject? <laughs> How to make it work as entrepreneurs and all that, couples? Yeah, uh, patience. Yeah. Um, what else did we say? Patience, loyalty. Love, just a, a common goal to want to make it work. Goal. Yeah. yeah, as long as you both have that common goal, I think it can work. So that's what we got. I saw one last thing. Tamiko said, "Commercial over residential." In my opinion, absolutely. Why? Well, let me explain why. Because residential does have a bigger profit margin, but commercial is bigger checks. You know what I mean? With residential, would you? looking at about 250 hours maybe with commercial i don't know five grand like two two grand a month yeah. per contract 500 a month per contract either way is a lot more than a house and then it's an actual contract so typically most businesses honor their annual contracts all of them don't but most of them do you know what i mean so that's what i got anyway thank y'all for watching i might actually leave this up i won't show if i'm gonna leave this up or not but thank y'all for watching i'm aj simmons Talk to y'all soon. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And who was that that did the super chat? Because I don't get those off. Shout out to OJ Duke Jackson once again for doing the super chat. I don't get those too often, so I appreciate you. Y'all go to subscribe to his channel. Check them out. Thank y'all. Oh, y'all know what I'm supposed to say. You want to start your cleaning business. If you want to grow your cleaning company, check out cleanbiznetwork.com. We got all type of stuff for you. Thank you. <laughs>